Well, good afternoon, my friends. How are you doing? Uh, another Friday rolled around. It's time for June my prayer day. And it's such a wonderful day today. Beautiful day outside. And uh, I'm parked out front waiting to go in the parking lot and park my car and go in for prayer service. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and enjoy yourselves this day and uh, may God bless everyone this day and seek the blessings of God. My little Filipina wife is at work now. I know she wish she can come here. But she has to work, but it will be time where she'll be able to join me for Juma prayer. They're almost just about done with the completion of our new masjid. Hopefully by Ramadan, which is in March, I believe, we'll be able to uh, pray in there. So everyone have a good day. See you later. Oh, babe, what a wonderful day. Look at it out there. Because oh my you God. Know why. The sun's out bright. Oh man. A lot of business with a beautiful day today. Yep. Yeah, we gotta go take care of some business. Where are we going anyway? Costco. Gotta go to Costco to get a few items. Pepino yeah. store. Filipino store in Carson. And what else? Gardena. Not that little bakery place you're talking about. What's it called? 80. 80 what? I'm five. Just, okay. Five. Babe, look. I told you. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go. Don't pull that out. All right. Let's see where you go. Okay. We're in Costco's. Guys, get right sitting out of form. You get an eye examination. But this is uh, the Costco store. And uh, people are shopping inside the store. We're going to do a little shopping to get our eyes examined. We don't have a point, but we're supposed to be up here at 10 o'clock. So we're here. And uh, hopefully we get everything done while wow, we're here. But Costco is usually crowded. It's usually crowded. Lots of people shopping. But her eyes have been bothering her at work. And she's on the computer at work. So we have to we have to get her eye examined. That's a priority. And anything else. We had other plans, we had to switch things around, that's the way it goes. So. Soon as she uh, fills out the uh, forms, I don't know how long we have to wait, but we get an eye exam. Okay, sitting now waiting for her glasses, waiting to get exam. So, uh, we'll see what happens. She's waiting patiently. Kikai, Kikai, you're next, I think. <laughs> so the doc, so I'm waiting here. I already got my eye checked. They, the doctor put um, eye drop on my eye for mm -hmm. dilation, and uh, I need to wait for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, I'll come back inside and the doctor will check me out again. So we're still here in Costco. Wait. The reason why you're getting it because what, babe? The reason why I'm getting that because I'm always working the computer every day. Every day. And if I don't have my glasses, I get very dizzy. And my I um I start having real bad headache, real real bad. So 
I'll check. I don't know what to say. So I'll just wait for 30 minutes and I'll see you guys later. Okay, we're doing our shopping now. And uh, she got her eyes examined. We bought the glasses, so we're just going to go get a few other items we have to get. Mm. Oh, okay. isn't that right? Okay, go. I can go back. Small. Is that right, big Yes. Right. You're right. Yeah, yes. Right. Can you see? I feel weird. <laughs> can you see right? Okay. Well, we're done at Costco. We're in the gas station now. Give him gas. Kay got everything, right, Kay? Mm hmm. Hmm. It's my eyes hurting, but I cannot see on this in the sun. You can? Mm hmm. They should have gave you some dark glasses. That's why you gotta wear those glasses. They didn't give me. Nothing. Lucky you has them in the car. All right, I'm at the car dealership now, Ford car dealership. Uh, and I was here yesterday and got my car serviced, my 2021 Ford Flex. It's a lease car. And so after I got it done, it just spinning all day out here. Uh, I got a text as I got home. They want me to come back and see if I can just pay it off. You know, they want to work a contract out where I can just pay the lease off and be my car and hurry finish paying for it since I got about it. Uh, I don't know how many more payments they said, 19 more payments to go. And the lease is up in 2024. So I don't know, I'm gonna go talk, see what the options are. I might well just keep the car, her pay it off. It's a nice running car, really, nothing wrong with it at all. Or either lease out at 2024, or 23, excuse me, Ford Flex. So I'm going to go in there and talk to the guy, see what my options are, and see what we can work out. But I don't want to pay no more than I'm paying now, and I'm already paying a high payment now. So I'll see what I can do. The other person I used to work here, he no longer works here. His name was Prince. He's the one who sold me the last three cars I got. But he was a, he was a excuse my language, bullshitter. So anyway, I'm going to go in and find out what it's all about. And I'll surely let you guys know. See you later. Hello you guys, I'm here at the Ford dealership in Marina and I just bought a new a Ford Explorer 2022 and this is the young lady. Hello. Yeah, she's the one who sold it to me. Congratulations. And got a great deal too. And uh, I'll explain that to you later when I go home and do my final uh, talk. But it's a good deal it's here at the Ford dealership. It's, this is Culver City, right? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Lori Perez comes here. You can see Lori Perez when you come here. You get a good deal. Guarantee you that. I'll talk to you later. Well, here's the next shipment ready to go to Philippines. They're going to pick it up today between 9 and 12 o'clock. They said that... Uh, Usually they come a little bit early, but this is the time they give you. So we got it all ready to go. And I'm glad of that. Okay, family, he's picking up the boxes now. Cool, y'all, pick the boxes up. It's going to the Philippines to be there in about 40 days, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, after paying your money, then one day you'll have enough to go home. Uh, okay, there goes the boxes to Philippines. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Oh, thank you. All right, you too. There he goes. Load the boxes up. They're coming, family. Philippines. Well, 
We're at uh, Redondo Beach Cheesecake Factory, me and Kay. We decided to come here and eat and uh, enjoy ourselves. And uh, anyway, what about you, Kay? You on camera? Huh? I'm trying to take off something. All right, you enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. Okay. All right, that's good. That's enough. We just ordered our food, so. Uh, should be out soon to eat. I ordered um, appetizer, some of the delicious egg rolls, they, uh, avocado egg rolls they got, and plus some Jamaican black shrimp with pe pepper on it. Anyway, we'll get back with you guys. Well, we're on our way home from a great day at Joe's Crash Shack. Joe's, I mean, not Joe's Crash Shack. It was closed. It's shut down. I'm surprised. But Beko, she treated me to a uh, cheesecake factory. So thank you very much, Beko. Welcome, boo. All right, all right. Now we're on our way home. See you guys later. Hello, everyone. Well, we finally made it home from a very, very busy day today. You know, we uh, we uh, got all the boxes ready to go to yeah. Philippines. And the man, the, what's the name of the company? Uh, Atlas. Atlas came and picked them up, which is good. We finished packing everything, got it ready to go. They were supposed to come at a different day, but they changed the date. They said they made a mistake that someone is scheduled us for Monday. They said they don't really do do that in every Monday. Yeah. So someone made a mistake. So we made a mistake. That's okay. So we uh, we uh, had it ready for them. So when they did did come. And they pick it up. That was great. And then we decided to go to uh, uh, Redondo Beach. Redondo Beach. And we're supposed to go to Crab Shop. Oh, I was so surprised they closed Crab Shop. They were Man. closed. Man, that place used to be so busy. Mm -hmm. But they said that uh, they weren't having that many businesses, you know. And I'm thinking maybe ever since the pandemic, things slowed down. I don't know. Are, are people going to other places? And the Cheesecake Factory is right next door. So we went there. Uh, we were kind of debating on where to go, but we decided to, uh, Joe's Crash Act and we went over there. And wow. Yeah, it's closed. It was closed. So we went around the corner. Out of to, business. Out of business, yeah, to the Cheesecake Factory, you know, so I did it. And before that, uh, a couple of days ago, I bought a car. We got a new Ford uh, Explorer 2021. Two. 2022, right. Well, 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 I don't know why I be making mistakes all the time, man. I was like, woo. But anyway, 2022, brand new, off the floor, and uh, runs real good. K satisfied, right, K? Yep. Me too. Love and uh, went to a few changes there, but everything worked out fine. You know, uh, so that's 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 a good thing, you know. But uh, it uh, it runs good. We're both satisfied and everything. And so that's it. Mm -hmm. So you saw on the, the, the video previous to us talking about what, what we were doing, how our day was and everything. And it's been busy, very busy. Kay's off of work today. Look, she's here. She's off of work today. <laughs> and that's great. And um, yeah, time to spend time together. I think they're back to hear them. So anyway, uh, we just want to touch bases with you guys. We got a few new subscribers. Thank you so very yes. much. I appreciate it so much. And um, you guys are the best, you know. Yeah. And, and we try to send out a box, a couple of boxes every month to the Philippines if we could. We get the time. And, um, you know, we have the family there. Yeah. And what else, B? I think that's it. Nothing's really going on in our lives so far. Well, there's a lot going on in our lives. We just, we just no, ain't. No, I've been at work. There's nothing, yeah, that's, well, that's going on. You Before, know, but, I'm always with you. I know it's just yeah, every but, Saturday. Well, we Sunday. got plans, B. You know that. And that's what it takes. So, uh, you yeah, know, so. I just want to thank you guys again for your support 
and your health. And I just want to say, everyone, give a prayer for the people in Turkey and Syria. That's such a sad thing. I mean, it just hurts my heart. Over 23, I think 23,000 people lost their lives. And uh, wow, that's devastating. And just as much as are injured. You know, woman had a baby, the baby lived, the woman died, and families live, and the parents are gone. It's just been very, very devastating time over there, you know. So let's pray for them and help them if we could, any kind of way. May God bless them. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>